YouTube and welcome back to another banger video, man. Hey, hold on. First and foremost, I look a little, you know, a little swole, man. Boy, your boy swaving in the gym, getting his goddamn game. Let me open up the server because you know it's an option, and and you know I, I'd rather let God shine this light on me, man. But yeah, man, I I don't know what the video will be, but I'm clear just film whatever I do every day man but today I start my day off in the gym per usual right so I wake up you know I quick edit stuff whatever I gotta do I gotta edit edit that then I go to the gym uh, roughly around between 8 to 10 o'clock in the morning so that's what I'm finished right now so we're about to head to the gym go get more gains and then I'm gonna show y'all probably some stuff in the gym don't know I lowkey do want to become a fitness uh, a fitness um, influencer now because that's all I'll be seeing on TikTok because that's all I watch on TikTok is like gym stuff now and car stuff so I don't know but yeah I like if you, if you know me from the past like obviously I'm naturally skinny but I've, I've had a big gut a bird chest fat face just like I think I weighed like two I weigh like 220 something right now I'm down to 185 so I'm trying to stay between 180 to 190 so right now I'm, it's my shredding season season so I'm in the gym going crazy shredding up right now man so we're in the big benzo about to head to the gym and let's get to it yo. so this is not the formatic um version uh, this is just the rear wheel drive rear wheel drive version of the formatic so if you know if you don't know what formatic is pretty much means all wheel drive so this is a bi-turbo six cylinder mercedes-benz it has the three liter engine twin turbo i'm going to pop the hood for you so yeah this is the engine bay um by the way from factory the blow off sounds are pretty loud if you put it in sport plus mode for me personally you can hear the turbo the turbos to be exact like spool after but that's it that's the engine bay you know the blow up valves right there you can see the turbos somewhat from here but yeah let me know if you guys think i should maybe do down pipes you know intake and all that not quite sure but Ah, this car is so much fun, and I don't want to do anything to it. I was going to ruin it, man. Anyways, y'all. But while there is people doing crackhead stuff over here, uh, there was a car that literally was smashing, and I had to, you know, stop the video real quick. But one thing I do love about this, like the car itself, is the blue interior because it matches my car. You know, orange contrast off the blue. So it is a blue with a tan. You know offset so the stairwell the seats the center console is all tan it has the the light you know the light tan wood colorway as well and I love how the interior does have the ambient lighting so everything up here all around here lights up the actual lights all this lights up In between here it lights up I love it, man. And even on the side, it lights up. And the audio, see, you sort of see it from here. So, you know, if, if it's if it's nighttime or evening time, you can definitely see the ambient lighting. That is one thing I definitely love for sure. One other feature that I feel like is underrated with this car, but this car has massage seats. So let me go to the actual setting for you, right? So you go here to, you know, the main menu, you click on the vehicle and you could choose whether you want the driver's seat or passenger seat so in this case I'm gonna choose the driver's seat and you can literally adjust the whole lumbar the side bolsters the seating the seat heating balance or just reset all the factory stuff but in this case I love the massage seat so you can literally choose between 
relaxing, activating, classic, and mobilizing. Usually, you know, if I'm just cruising or from home or something like that, I will usually do relaxing or activating massage. Like these two are probably my favorite. And obviously you can choose how intense and all that, which is pretty dope. One other thing that I do love about this vehicle is the fact that the gauges are completely digital. So this and that is completely digital. That is one thing I've been trying my hardest. Like I literally have been trying to find a car that has completely digital gauges. So this has digital gauges and you can actually change your gauges. So if you go here you can change besides like all that but you can actually change how the gauges look you would go here up back to the main setting for that obviously and you could change your your you go click here to for your designs and you, you can change it for, so this is sport this is progressive right here which is actually you know pretty neat right here it does show you you know everything that's you know important that the coolant, you know, the gas, and all that. And this one is progressive. It shows miles. I don't know, like this, this gives me like, like future vibes, like, you know, something like that. But that's it, but usually I keep it on sport because I like the way it shows all that. And then you could, you could adjust everything in the middle by, you know, swiping this. So I usually keep it just like this. So even though it shows the miles per hour right here, I like it in the middle, like to show the actual number and RPM gauge. And you know, you know, if you know me, then you know what probably one of my favorite things are in life when owning a vehicle is the audio. And that is one thing I love about this vehicle. It comes equipped standard with the Burmeister sound system. It sounds so amazing, y'all. This has to be, honestly, besides a Hellcat, because Hellcats also have amazing quality, like sound quality, the built-in subs and trunk, I love that. But this Burmeister sound, oh my goodness. I wish I could play something for y'all, but I don't know what I can find that is not copyrighted. But just go to a Mercedes dealership and ask if you could hear the sound system. It sounds like, oh. Uh, top three audios in a car I've ever heard in my life. And I am not capping. Like, literally, legitly, best sound ever. And the way I have it adjust, I like my bass pretty high. And since it's a coupe, I did push the audio more towards the front. And it is perfect. Like, I have no complaints. Other than that, you know, it could have a little bit more bass, but it's only because, you know, for, the, I feel like for the average person, the bass in this car is well more than enough. But me, I just love my bass. I would not be adding subs to this car, possibly. But as of now, I will not be adding no subwoofers to this car because honestly, I feel like it's a luxury car. You've, I don't feel like it's right to add subwoofers to this is a luxury car, but I just might, you never know, I just might, but the sound system is definitely one thing I really, really love about this car. Oysters are pretty good though, but it, you know, it's, I, I feel like the meat, like once the juice is gone, it gets nasty. That's the only and thing. Eat it fast. So don't, don't chew it? Like, yeah, chew on it. I mean, I like how it tastes. But if you're saying you don't like how it tastes, but then like it's too fast, yeah. it's like. I got it. I, 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 I can do it. I can, I can for sure do it. Position yourself. That got like, like three cameras on it. That way is way better. That is way better. Yeah. You didn't put enough hot sauce in it. The taste doesn't like disturb me. 
that's the perfect amount right now. There's nothing on there. There's nothing on there. Here, guys, have a good one. You too. Happy holidays. Thank you so much. You too. Be safe. Okay, hold this. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Have a nice The racks like a bimbo. Serving niggas out the window. Have a nine three kids with a hustle for Jamendo. Had to get it off the mental. Had to move with the intellect. Mm. There's niggas on me begging that paddy wagon, but I won't let them in. Oh, sir. I gotta watch my temper. Step a step a step up.